Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you a super simple way of creating a gimbal lock free camera in GameMaker Studio 2 that will allow you to yaw, pitch and roll your camera without any limitations. It will primarily use built-in functions for manipulating matrices. If you have any experience with matrices from before that will be very handy, but I'm still gonna try to explain it to you as if you are 5. I have created a simple starting project with a couple of resources that I plan to use, including a low poly plane model, a script for loading OBJ files, and a couple of sprites. Um, and I'm just, just going to start by creating a new object, and I'll name that OBJ plane. So let's begin by loading the models that are necessary, and that is the plane model. And let's also load the propeller. And the sky, and that is sphere. Okay, and I'm gonna set up a basic 3D camera, and I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Um, I'm gonna assume that you already know how to set up a 3D camera. So. Okay, so now we have the basic camera settings enabled. Uh, now I want to give the uh, the plane some uh, properties. Uh, it needs a Z variable. Set that to uh, set it to 100, so that it starts above ground. And I also want to create a matrix. And I'll do that by using matrix build x y z. No rotation, no scale, and let's see here. In step event, I would like to set the camera. I would like for the camera to be displaced behind the plane. And if you are not familiar with matrices, uh, matrix build input lets you input a position, three angles, and scaling. Now, position is easy to extract from the matrix. Uh, matrix index number 12 is equal to the x position. 13 is y, 14 is z. So if you would like to change the position of the matrix, you can just use these indices. Uh, index 0, 1, and 2 are the x axis of the looking direction and y-axis and z-axis so these three indices together are pointing out from the tip of the plane so we can use these to uh, offset the camera so in step event I would like to offset the camera behind and slightly above of the plane so then I will do var cam x is equal to and we can use index number 12, that is the x position of the plane, minus the looking direction times, uh, and let's do uh, horizontal offset is equal to, let's say, 100, and their offset is equal to 30. So we, I want to offset backwards uh, compared to the plane times horizontal offset and I want to offset upwards in the up direction of the plane times the vertical offset. Now so 0, 1, 2 is the looking direction, 8, 9 and 10 are the up directions of the uh, of the matrix. So cam x, cam y, cam z, I need to also use the correct indices for these, so that's 12, 13, 14 are x, y, z, 0, 1, 2 are the x, y, and z axis of the looking direction, and 8, 9, 
and 10 are the, uh, uh, the components of the up direction. Now we can set the uh, camera's looking um, look at matrix. So let's see here. Look at. I want to build a matrix from the cam X, cam Y, cam Z towards. Uh, let's just do X, Y, Z. And this part is important. Uh, a lot of people just use 0, 0, 1 for the up uh, vector of the, the view matrix. That doesn't make sense if you plan to allow for rolling the camera. So we can instead use the matrix up vector, and that is mat 8, mat 9, and mat 10. So now we have set up a basic uh, view matrix. Let's go into draw event. Let's do matrix set, matrix world, and just use the uh, matrix that we've created. Let's submit the plane as a PR triangle list, and let's get the texture. Uh, that is right, get texture, text plane zero. And let's reset the matrix. And I want to test it now just to make sure that I haven't messed up. Okay, so now we're looking at the plane and I noticed that the plane is actually rotated the wrong way. And I can fix that by multiplying a matrix with this matrix and that is matrix build. Actually, let's do a matrix multiply. A matrix build, that is zero, 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 zero. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, no scaling, and test again. Okay, so now we are looking along the uh, axis of the plane. Uh, uh, let's also draw a sprite, SPR Dagen, and test that. Okay, so now we have a map beneath us. And let's also draw a skybox. So that is mod sphere. No, mod sky. There we go. And it's text sky. And I would like to draw this at the player's position. So that's X, Y, Z, and just make it huge. Let's scale it by 10,000. Okay, so now we also have a skybox. Let's make the plane move. Um, I'll just make it move at a constant speed. So let's do var SPD is equal to four, for example. And here I want to add the looking direction of the matrix. So that is matrix index number zero times speed. Y, Z, and that one, two, and let's run it and see what happens. Okay, nothing happened, uh, and that is because I need to also update the matrix. And let's test again. Okay, so now the plane is moving. Uh, now I want to make it rotate when I move the mouse. So I want to, um, uh, every step I want to check for the distance from the mouse to the center of the screen, and then reset the mouse to the center of the screen. So DX now stores the distance from the from the center of the screen to the position. Let's do the same for Y. Height. And let's set the uh, mouse position. To the middle of the screen. There we go. And there we go. Now let's use DX and DY to rotate the camera. Um, instead of storing the yaw pitch and roll, 
I would like to store yaw speed, pitch speed, and roll speed. And you'll see why later. So I'd like to use DX to change the yaw speed. So I'll start by multiplying the yaw speed by point, let's say, 8 and add DX. I think a DX is way too sensitive, so let's do times 0.1. And now I want to create a new matrix from this and multiply it with the matrix that we already have and then set that as the new matrix. So that's matrix multiply, matrix build, no position, no X rotation, no Y rotation, but I want to, want to rotate around the Z axis with your SPD, no scale, and let's see what happens. Okay, so now the camera is rotating incredibly fast, and it's the uh, it's rotating in the wrong direction. So then we do minus here. And let's do 0 0.01 there and test again. Okay, so this makes a little more sense. I would also like for the plane to kind of tip to the side as you turn. And I can do that here by rotating around the Y axis. And let's see what happens if I just use this angle directly. Then it's rotating in the wrong direction, so let's do minus, and I also want it to be a little more extreme, so let's do five times that. Okay, that's pretty nice. Now I want to try implementing um, pitch. So I'll do the same as I did for the yaw, except with the pitch speed. And I'll use dy there, and I'll plug that into the y rotation of matrix build, and let's see what happens. Okay, so now we can actually fly in all directions, even straight up, and there is absolutely no gimbal lock. So that is how easy it is to create a gimbal lock free camera in GameMaker Studio 2. But we also have um, another axis, and that is rolling. So let's do the same for the roll speed. And here we're going to do that slightly differently. Instead of using the mouse, I'm going to press some buttons. Uh, so that is roll speed. Let's add keyboard check. E, there we go, minus keyboard, check, board, Q, and test that. Nothing, oh right, uh, maybe I also have to use it here. So let's plug that into the X rotation of the matrix and see what happens when I press E. And that is perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Now, that is actually all that's needed for this advanced kind of camera, uh, but I also want to make it look a little better. So let's create a new matrix and name that camera matrix. Because I want the camera to kind of lag a little behind the, uh, the plane. Um, so that, let's see here, a matrix uh, basically is just an array of 16, uh, 16 indices. So to linearly interpolate between one array and another, you can just e interpolate between each dimension separately. And that can be done in a loop. So let's do a 4 for i is equal to 0, i is less than 16, i plus plus Camat i is equal to lerp. Camat i mat i. And let's do a lerping factor of 0.15, for example. 
Then I want to use that down here. Okay, that looks quite a bit better. Maybe I should limit the uh, turning speed as well. So let's see here. Let's clamp this and this to minus I don't know, five and five, and the same for the pitch. Also, uh, the yaw speed is kind of like shaking a little bit. So let's add another dampened angle factor uh, variable. I mean, angle is equal to zero. Let's go here and do angle is equal to lerp angle. And this, let's do 10 times that actually. And let's lerp with a factor of 0.3. And let's use the angle there. And I think that will result in a smoother rotation. So the last thing I want to do is to draw the propeller. And let's copy this part of the drawing code and let's replace that with mod propeller. And I want to draw the propeller um, with an angle current here, current time times five. Okay, so now we have the propeller in front and it is actually rotating. And that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Feel free to ask questions in the comments if anything is unclear. Thanks for now and I hope to see you next time.